Martavius. How do you guys pull off the seven in a row to finish? Mike and Johnny, you can't talk about kind of what it took and then the feeling how you pulled that off. Glad I started off the dog. Um, feels good. I mean, seven in a row. I mean, there was a point before that when we were in the locker room saying we had to win the next seven to to uh, really turn the season around, and we, we, that was our goal, and we're glad we got it done. Johnny, you said this team was about to go on a run right before this thing started. Did you envision this? Yeah, this is exactly what I envisioned. Uh, I don't want to say I told you so, but I did. <laughs> um, yeah, man, just a lot of heart. Uh, and just us battling through adversity, and we're coming out on top right now. But it's not over yet. We still got to keep going. Coach Hawkins said that it seemed easy to quit. You had a free agent contest. You guys didn't. Why didn't you? And what did you do to Still playing for a lot. You know, season obviously wasn't over. We could still make something happen. So it didn't make any sense to kind of hold to it. You know, we, were, we knew we were too talented. We knew we had too many weapons. Just had to iron some things out, and that's what we're doing. Jason, you want to slide the mic a little towards you? I just wanted to ask you real quick about the closing minutes of the game when you kind of took over there, what was going through your mind? Dana Altman said that you know, no matter if you're coming off the bench or starting, you just do whatever it takes. I just didn't want to lose. I mean, I, it's not time to go home yet. Still work to be done. What was it? Did you get a feeling like you were starting to get, get a rhythm after you hit a couple? I just kind of just put it in the thought that, I mean, if we lose, I'm, it's going to be on me because I'm going to shoot it regardless. So, I mean, let's put the team on my back, basically. Do you feel like this and the winning streak should secure your bid to the NCAA tournament? Um, I'm not sure, but uh, you know, being that we're going to the tournament, I mean, I know if we win that, that'll secure our bid. And I think that's kind of how we're looking at it. You know, we win the tournament, we're in. So, not really worried about NCAA right now. We just worry about Pac-12 tournament. So, and one game at a time. Johnny, speaking of Pac-12, you, I mean, you guys obviously had great success down there last year. You're, you're included. Um, does this win, the seven-game win streak, and then your win over Arizona today make you guys believe that, hey, we can go down there and do it again? Oh, yeah. We, are, we for sure know we can go down there uh, and do it again. We can make some noise. Uh, we got all the weapons. We got a lot of depth. So we got to win four games in four days. So it's not – it's definitely possible for us to do it. Johnny, every team you've been on here kind of has been on a really impressive late run. Did any of this feel familiar in terms of sort of taking a while for all the pieces to come together, but then things kind of clicking down the stretch? Um, not, uh, I wouldn't say this one was probably the most unfamiliar just because we had so much talent and, and we were so hot in the beginning. I never, I never really experienced that high and then that low like that, you know what I'm saying? So it's a little different, but it's still, still us getting hot at the right time. Travis, describe that feeling when you hit the three, put you guys up eight, um, and there's a timeout right after that. Yeah, right when uh, Jason uh, took, went off the screen from Ben and Ben rolled, and I saw my man help. By that time, I was preparing to hit the shot. I was just, you know, getting my feet wrapped, my, my rhythm, just sliding. And then right when it hit me, it just it just felt good. And I knew it was money when it left my hands. Explain the process that um, went through your guys' head coming up over that hump. It took you a while to take the lead. And so what took so long, and how did it feel once you got in that? Was that for me, or was that for everybody? Oh. I mean, it was a grind. It was a grind out game. They were in a rhythm. Um, it, it took us a while to kind of match uh, getting stops with getting baskets. You know, there was, a, there was a row there where I think we stopped them four times in a row, but only got one basket out of them in the first half. And uh, in the second half, you know, we, we finally started answering those stops with baskets and um, turned out good. Started running some plays. Jason got hot, and we really milked that. Mike, Arizona's obviously considered one of the best teams in the country. What does this win say about you guys? That we can be one of the best teams in the country, too. No matter who we're playing. Doesn't matter about the name on your chest, man. Right? Let's go out and play. You hit a big uh, three to and a half the first half. Um, and I guess any of you can answer this, but what was, uh, how big do you think that was for you guys? Know, huge. It was, a bit more it was huge. It was huge. It, it picked up everything, it helped us pick up our defense. Um, I mean, every shot that he hit really down that stretch was big. I think it helped us a lot more defensively than anything because it kind of took pressure off guys and you know, it allowed us to read some ball screens and get out there and trap. And um, our, the energy was high. The, the, the pit crew was going crazy. I mean, it just made it easier on us. What Johnny, I just saw you smile when Jason was talking about the end of the game there and what he, what he did. Uh, 
you played with him enough, you know he can do that. Did you feel like that? Like he hit a couple, you're like, uh-oh, here we go. Well, you right when I, uh, I think it was the left wing, I think he hit it and got fouled. Right when he did that, I was like, oh, Cali's hot. You know, you just keep finding him, let him go. And then he's going to make the right play if he don't got his shot. But, you know, that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to shoot it. He could shoot that thing. So I, I knew he was feeling it once I saw that. Got you another game during this stretch where you guys tied or so with about four or five minutes left, and you guys the ones that made the plays down the stretch. You guys feel like getting in similar situations in the middle <laughs> round? Is that how you guys execute? Yeah, we knew, uh, you know, the first half of the season, we were making those tough plays down the stretch to get those close games. And then we went on that little slide. We weren't doing the tough things at the end of the game. You know, we weren't getting those key rebounds. Like down in Arizona, we weren't getting those key rebounds. But here, we was getting those key rebounds. And they, they weren't, they weren't uh, getting second chance points. So uh, it, it felt good just to do the tough things down the stretch. How did these last seven games, you guys say, you guys found a, um, more, more confidence in your defense, I guess? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, um, it's, it, we've, been, we've had it, you know. The, the confidence has been growing with every win. It's all about X factors on defense, too. You guys should really be talking to Ben Carter right now. Mm -hmm. That's what you really should be talking yeah, to. Yeah, he made some big plays toward the end there. Wade was contesting a lot of shots. And if he's not blocking them, he's altering them. That helps us out a lot, too. How much better have they gotten the last time out? Yeah, they've made big strides, man. Nice Coach talked about the going into the tournament, you got Waverly had kind of a good last two games with a huge one the other day, and Ben today, is it kind of show them, you, you guys feel like going into this stretch run, you've got more depth inside than you kind of had all year? Yeah, uh, if their five man is playing a lot of minutes, and then last, you know, six minutes of the game, we come with a brand, a fresh guy, and he comes in and just has a lot of energy moving, trying to get every rebound, that's, that's going to be tough on them. So, you know, our depth is going to be a big key. Jesse, yeah, did you have uh, space on those threes, or did you create the space, or were you just feeling it? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it's live. I just shot it, man. I mean, if I see a little daylight, I'm letting it go, to be honest with you. I don't need that much space. My kid pretty one-on-one -on -one going with Aaron Gordon there in the second half. But when you talk about that matchup, I mean, you get energy from that, or? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I just wanted to kind of make it tough on him. Um, you know, I know he's not used to guarding four men as quick as I am, so I just kind of wanted to see if I get him into foul trouble. Um, I mean, he's obviously really talented, so we definitely didn't want him on the court. Mike, you take some pride in the fact the last four games may have been your best stretch of four at the time when you guys needed it most. Kind of end of your career and to wrap it up, kind of putting it together like that at an important time? Um, definitely. Um, I, I still think we're a desperate team. Uh, I don't think that goes away at all, even after these last few wins. Um, I mean, you're going to see the same desperation this, this next coming week. Johnny, what kind of encore does the mayor of Vegas have? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm not saying nothing. We'll see. Thanks, guys.